In this video, we will learn about RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation. And this will be a, sim uh, this will be a simple RAG pipeline. Um, in the upcoming videos, we will also see the advanced RAG techniques. So first of all, we will see uh, the theoretical part uh, of a simple RAG pipeline. And then we will also see a, a demo and a code to implement this uh, simple RAG pipeline. So first of all, the, uh, the user will provide the query so that query will be then converted into embeddings. These embeddings are nothing but vectors. For example, it can be 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and uh, the dimension can be anything. For example, it can be either 512 dimension, uh, or it can be uh, 1024 dimension of any dimension. So these embeddings are nothing but vectors. And then these vectors uh, are basically uh, uh, these, these vectors uh, will be used to retrieve the relevant, do relevant documents from the documents which we are providing. So these documents are the PDFs, which, PDFs or any other kind of documents which we can provide. PDFs or text files. So uh, first of all, these documents are uh, chunked or splitted into smaller parts. And then these smaller parts uh, are again converted into embeddings. So these embeddings are again vectors. Uh, so these vectors will be will be stored in the vector store. So uh, so now we have the embeddings of the document document chunks stored in the vector store. And using the query embedding, using the query embedding, uh, we will retrieve the relevant documents from the vector store. This is the relevant documents. So then uh, using the relevant documents and the query and the instructions, we will build the prompt. And this prompt will be finally provided into the LLM to generate the final answer. So this is the, the concept of a simple RAG pipeline. So basically the user provides the query, the query is converted into embeddings. Now we have the documents. Uh, the documents are split into smaller parts or converted into chunks. These chunks are again converted into embeddings. These embeddings are stored in vector store and using the embedding of the query, we retrieve the relevant documents from the vector store and then we build the prompt using the relevant documents, the query and the instructions and we, we pass this prompt into the LLM and then we get the final answer. So this is the uh, concept of the sim simple rag. So now let's move to the code part uh, to understand how we can implement this. So now to implement the simple rag, first of all, we need to uh, install few uh, libraries and packages. So uh, first of all, we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, install the accelerate bits and bytes lang chain, uh, and then we need to inst install the pydentic, pypdf, sentence transformers, chroma db, phi cpu. So if we are using chroma, then you'll have to install chroma db. But uh, and if you're using uh, phi, then we can install the phi cpu. Uh, this particular version for this uh, for this notebook. Then we also need to install the Langchain Hugging Face uh, library, and then we are good to start. So uh, once the installation is done, then we will uh, import all these um, modules into our into our notebook, and then we also need to get the Hugging Face token here. So we must have the Hugging Face token to use the models. Uh, uh, embedding models and the large language models from the Hugging Face um, platform. So once we have imported this, then uh, we will use this directory loader, which we imported from Langchain document loaders uh, to kind of uh, load the uh, data. So if I can show you data, I have four PDF files here. So two of these are, uh, are, are, are containing information about cricket. And then two of these are about machine learning. So these are four PDF files going back. So, so first of all, we will load these uh, PDF uh, documents using directory loader. And then once we give loader dot load, we can see all the different uh, documents uh, which are loaded here in this notebook from the PDFs. Okay. So now if we see the length of the docs, it is eight here. So now the next thing which we have to do is we have to uh, split the documents. We have to split the documents into smaller chunks as we discussed earlier. To do that, we will use the recursive text, uh, uh, recursive character text splitter. 
which is again we are uh, we are importing from langchain dot text splitter so using this we will uh, split the document into smaller chunks so the chunk size i have kept here is 500 and the chunk overlap is 100 so now what is this chunk overlap so first of all we'll uh, call this split documents and then pro we'll we'll provide the docs here which will convert this to uh, smaller chunks but the we need to discuss what is this chunk overlap so if we see here the first uh, the, the first chunk here from this text or the splitted uh, data then this uh, the page content will show the actual chunk of the data so if we see here it is showing limited overs format with each team getting 50 overs to bat, bat and in the next chunk again if we see it is not starting from a new uh, sentence or on from or from a new word if we look carefully it is starting from uh, this part here uh, test cricket one day international from here if we see it is starting from here so there is some overlap between the subsequent chunks here so uh, this chunk overlap is used to uh, build this these kind of chunks uh, these chunks, uh, so this uh, chunk overlap helps us to kind of keep the continuity uh, in the chunks, which will help the LLMs to understand the context better. So after that, we are uh, finally uh, creating the vector store here, the files vector store, and we are calling the from documents function here. So to, to do this, we have to, we need to import the uh, uh, FAISS files vector store from Langchain, from Langchain dot vector stores. So here we have to import this first of all and then once this is imported then we can just call this from documents function and we need to provide the splitted text and the hugging face embedding model which we want to use so i'm using this model over here to uh, create the embeddings so once this is done then we can uh, we can basically perform a similarity search to uh, retrieve the relevant document so first of all if i give a question how many overs are there in odi so and if i call db db dot similarity search and this query so this will get me the relevant uh, relevant chunks uh, from my data so i have printed one of the chunks here uh, which we can see using the similarity search function so after this we will make our retriever uh, using as retriever function we'll get the search type as similarity and we are giving uh, the number of retrieved documents as one this means that once we give the query uh, we will get only one retrieve document from the from all the documents so so as we see uh, using this query how many overs are there in odi we are able to get this uh, retrieved context using the retriever and we are using get relevant documents uh, so inside this we have to pass the query for which we want to get the relevant documents so now uh, the retriever is ready now we need to load the model. So first of all, we'll give the repo ID here. And here I'm I'm using the Mistral AI, uh, Mistral model, basically 7B version and from Hugging Face. So here we will, uh, uh, we will basically put the repo ID inside this Hugging Face endpoint function. To use this, we need to import uh, this uh, Hugging Face endpoint from the Hugging Face, uh, Langchain Hugging Face uh, module. So once this is done, so we will um, will define the uh, LLM here uh, using this hugging face endpoint function. We'll put the repo ID, the maximum length, and the temperature here. So now uh, the LLM is ready to use. So so first of all, we can test the LLM without any relevant context or without any document. Uh, so if we test it here, it is working fine. It is returning the answer. But what we want is we want the answers to be from the documents which we have the documents which we have here so, um, so the answers must come from these documents so uh, but at this step we are just testing whether the LLM is working or not so this is working fine so now then in the next step we will create the prompt template in the prompt template uh, we can so this prompt te template is basically for a, a question answering application so we can just say something like based on the provided context respond to the question below while adhering to these guidelines so if the answer is unclear or not found uh, do not speculate just say i do not know the answer if the answer is found provide a clear and concise response in no uh, in not more than 10 sentences and then we will give the context the question and then this answer key is here 
So from this prompt template, we will uh, we'll, uh, build the prompt. We'll pro uh, provide the input variables as context, context and question. So now till this point, our prompt is ready. And now we need to create the chain. So to do that, we need to import the retrieval QA chain from the langchain.chains. So once we import it, we can define our chain uh, like this. So we'll give retrieval QA from chain type and we'll provide the LLM, which we have built here this LLM and then we'll provide a chain type as stuff. We'll provide the retriever, which, which again we have defined earlier. This is the retriever which we have. So and then we'll have to give the return source documents as to So this will return the source document from where the answer is getting generated. And then we'll provide the prompt which we built in the above step. So once this is done, so now we are ready to uh, use this chain to uh, ask uh, questions and get answers from the data which we have provided over here. So the same question which we have provided um, above, uh, the question is, um, the question is how many overs are there in ODI? We are passing it here. So here we can see it is using retrieval.qa and, and invoke function. Inside invoke function, function, we are just providing the query. And here we are getting the uh, synthesized answer from the LLM. So here we, it says in uh, one day internationals, each team gets to bat for 50 overs and so on. Uh, similarly, let's try some other uh, query. So here we are asking what is supervised learning? And then we are again using the invoke function to uh, ask this query. So once we uh, run the cell, we'll get the answer like supervised learning is a type of machine learning algorithm that uses labeled data to, to train a model to make a prediction um, and so on. Uh, so here again, if we want to see which is the which is the document or the relevant document from where this answer is getting generated. So we can again give the retriever get relevant documents and the query. So it gives us the document or the relevant document or the, or the relevant chunk from where the answer is getting generated. So if we see the page content here, supervised learning in supervised learning, the uh, inputs uh, to outputs enabling the algorithmic predictions on unseen data. Right. So here from this particular chunk, we are generating the answer. So, so this is it uh, for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please uh, like the video and subscribe the channel.